Um, some word association. Um, someone likely to commit a crime. <laughs> I'm saying, well, black people, yeah, because that's all you hear about in the news, pretty yeah. much. Blacks? Um, around here, probably more white people, but I think around there's a lot of more African American people that I see, I guess. Uh, unfortunately, Hispanic, African American. Boy, in this area, well, that's kind of, if you take a look at this area, it'd be Caucasian. Minimum wage earners? The Hispanics? Um, um, Native Americans? Hispanic, African American. Man, I'm gonna say Mexicans, because I mean, it's hard for black people to get jobs anyway. What would you consider typical? typical career for um, your average black man? Oh, that's kind of hard, because the uh, only black guys like I actually know, like, schools, I mean, used to play soccer, or like, I don't know, they just... Sports. That's a tough one. Uh, I grew up in a, a lot of minorities were in my neighborhood, so... I, Prison guard. Um, athletics. Black. I have seen doctors and I've seen nurses. Uh, a lot of janitors. White person. Uh, doctor. White person. Pretty much any white collar jobs. Office. Teachers. Um. Doctors, lawyers, kind of thing. Boy, um, for jobs. Factory, because I work in a factory, a lot of Caucasian factory. I say factory right now. Latinos. Wow. Latinos. I don't know right now. I can't think of one. It crossed my mind. That's <laughs> all right. Uh, Latinos, um, Oh, uh, unfortunately, um, because immigration and, and work and jobs, uh, farms, migrant workers. Pastors, like out in Los Angeles, when I worked out there, a lot of Latinos um, are pastors and missionaries. Latino, uh, room service. Um, factory workers. <laughs> Latinos? Latinos, um, restaurants. Asian? Laundry mat. Probably more of a, I don't know, a lot of where we come from, they own a lot of restaurants, do that kind of stuff. They have awesome food, I'd say food service. They have awesome food. Asian restaurants. Asian uh, computer science. Native Americans. No work. <laughs> Native American? I don't know. I haven't seen any Native American here, do I? Uh, I don't know. Casinos. Native American. Uh, casino worker. I see them looking at like casinos, gambling stuff. <laughs> Native Americans. Wow. Uh, I don't know because I don't know many Native Americans. I mean, I would probably say uh, the farm. Native American. Job. Let's see. I'd, I'd say entertainment. You know, for like in this area and stuff, you often see them being entertainers, like at arts festivals and stuff like that. Group. Uh, let's see. It's a bit trickier. Bit tricky because yeah, that's what I am. And so, yeah, what's what's the, the best term anyway? I, have, I just that, that's not exactly right. So. Well, it's not exactly right. Yeah, I'd be offended like, if you call them Arabs because, yeah, because they see a distinction between themselves and like mm -hmm. the general populace of Egypt. They mm -hmm. consider themselves Coptic, okay. which is or they don't. They are Coptic. Right, what's, um, what's that? It's well, it's like the. They consider themselves the indigenous people of Egypt. Oh. There's Pharaonic Egypt, mm -hmm. and then there was... There's all different Christian. Well, 
they're all different types of what? Like nationalities like well, Egypt. Well, yeah, sure. And I mean, I guess Christianity came to Egypt probably in about 350 AD or something. Okay. Some, and uh, it was, you know, that's when the pharaohs were there. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, not pharaohs anymore, but the ancient Egyptians. And then the Arab invasion was probably about uh, one or two hundred years after that. And so through their religion, they tend to hold on to this other ethnic identity. Okay. Uh, Middle Eastern. I see science. That's the list.